looking at a breeding business. So you find that uh, some of these pigments uh, you see here, these are courses of blood white landlords. And uh, some of them have 18 ticks, majority of them have 18 ticks, and some have 16 ticks. These pigs are four weeks old. We just win them um, uh, the other day, Mr. Weber one. So uh, they are on a uh, piglet rearing diet, and we transition the feed early enough so they are used to the feed they are taking. So these animals are already booked. Um, some of them are already booked by farmers to actually take them to produce pork. So these are females we are talking about when you're dealing with the right genetics. These are the females that are going to give you right numbers, that are going to be having very good mothering traits in terms of taking care of the piglets, uh, in terms of um, long activity, the, the number of years, the number of times it can follow at your farm, these animals can actually give you uh, over nine parities at your farm. So that means a pig should really be strong to stay for all those times. Remember, they can give you over 16 piglets. But all comes back to your management and feeding strategies to actually see that you have your pig farrow 2.5 times a year at your farm and you see that you benefit from your farming enterprise. One of the really benefits of pig farming is that they have a high multiplication rate, high growth rate, and they can convert feed into body muscle effectively. So the key thing in pig farming is that um, uh, the, one of the things that will take uh, much of your money your know, investment is the feeds. You need to have right feeding strategies so that you really benefit from your enterprise. So, but uh, uh, the thing is, you need to have a clear plan on how best to source the animals, on um, what projection to uh, expect from your big enterprise in terms of numbers of pigs being furrowed. You need to have a clear plan and projections on that so that you know uh, the return on investment on paper. Then you can actually see that how best to convert that on ground. Uh, that is the, the key thing about pig family enterprise. So in Uganda here, the really the market for pig pigs is really good. So it is upon you to have really right marketing strategies uh, for the pork produced at your, at your farm and you find that um, there is a way people actually consume pork in that it is more of a social, social uh, kind of you find that one person can even eat a half kg of pork Initially, in Uganda here, it's turning to be more of a culture where people consume pork from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and you find that there is high consumption of pork. That is one of the benefits of, of actually uh, pig farming. So you need to know, uh, uh, let's say your competitors, depending on the level of investment uh, you have. You need to know your competitors, you need to know where you're selling the pork and the key thing is have consistency. Uh, usually the batch system, batch system, batch system can actually give you that consistency in that you have a certain number of sows farrowing at a certain time in that you know that by uh, let's say two month time you can actually update your you can update your, your market that by two months time I expect pork at my farm. By this, have that consistency, have that communication with your markets in that you can tell them when you expect pork. But keep things, keep, first you need to have right biosecurity measures to ensure that 
the benefit from your farm venture. Thank you. Is not castrated. Thank <laughs> you. 